hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error so first of all you can copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see epic game store you can click on download and then you can run this exe file and this will open microsoft store on your computer and once Microsoft Store is open, you will see install button. In my case, Epic Games Store is already installed. So the option is grayed out. So if you see the install button or get button, you can install it from Microsoft Store and that should help you to fix the error. But still you are receiving the error. In that case, please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to install .NET Framework 3.5. So when you receive the error message, if you see this prompt to, to install .NET Framework 3.5, then install it. You can even go to Windows, type in Windows feature on or off over here and then click on. Now type in window feature and here click on turn Windows feature on or off. And over here, here you can see net .NET framework 3.5 so you can put a check over here and then click on ok and install it now after the installation restart your computer and then check still you are receiving the error message next step is to run epic games launcher as an administrator so type in epic games launcher in windows search box make a right click on epic games launcher and then click on run as administrator Make sure that you open this as an administrator and then check. Still you are receiving the error message, then update Windows to the latest version. Now for this, open Windows settings, go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer. And after the system restart, check. Now still you are receiving the error message. Then grant write and read access to Epic Games Launcher. Now for this, type in Epic Games Launcher in Windows search box, make a right click on Epic Games Launcher and then click on open file location and over here make a right click on epic games launcher select properties and then go to the security tab and then click on advanced option over here and over here you can see owner system over here you can see change option click on change now over here type in everyone and then click on check names click on ok and then apply ok ok and then if you see this edit option over here put a check on full control over here and then click on apply click on ok ok again make a right click and then select properties and then again go to the security tab and then click on advance and over here you can see the add option click on add and then uh, click on select a principal now again over here type in everyone click on check names and then click on ok Put a check on full control over here. Click on OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now you can check. Next step is to download Epic Online Services from Epic website and then extract it to this location. Now for this, type in in Google search. You can type in download sdk epic online services and then go to epic website scroll down over here you can see sdk type and select csdk and then click on download now once the download is complete you have to run this you have to extract this file to this location So open file explorer and then go to the downloads folder. Now over here you can see this zip file. Make a right click and then click on extract all. And then over here click on browse. Do not click on extract now. Go to browse. And then go to this PC. Open C drive. Now open program files x86. Now find epic, epic games folder. Here you can see epic games. Open epic games folder. Now open the launcher folder and then open portal folder and then open extras folders and then open eos folder and then over here select folder now click on select folder and now click on extract 
So once you select this location, now click on extract and let the extract complete. So this may take few seconds or maybe a couple of minutes. So let the process complete. Now once the process is complete, you can go to File Explorer once again, open C Drive Program Files x86 and then Epix folder and then Launcher, Portal, Extras, EOS. Now over here you will see Epic Online Services MSI file. So make a right click and then click on, uh, just make a double click, run this file. So you have to make a double click and let the process complete. Now once this is done, now you can open Epic Games Launcher and then check. Now still you are facing the problem in that case do the same thing but this time download this c has sdk file now for this again go to the same website now over here this time select c has sdk and click on download and follow the same process Now once the download is complete, go to downloads folder. So this is the right one which says US SDK C sharp. So make a right click and then click on extract all and again click on browse and then this PC C drive program file 686 and then Epic Games launcher portal extras EOS and then click on select folder and then click on extract. So you have to repeat the same process. Again, this process will take some time. If you see replace option, just click on replace. If you don't see it, no problem. Now once done, you have to go to this location this time. So open file explorer, this PC, C drive, program file 686, and then Epix folder, Epic Games folder, launcher, portal, extras, EOS, and then SDK, and then tools. And over here also you should file the Epic Online Service Installer file. So you have to run this file. So make a double click. So even if nothing happens, uh, when you make a double click, if nothing happens, just restart your computer and then you can try it once again. If still facing problem, then just ignore it. Just make a double click and now you can try to open Epic Games Launcher and then check. Now this time when you try to open Epic Games Launcher, if it is not opening in that case, uh, you can make a right click on the start menu and then go to task manager. And if you find Epic Games Launcher in the list, make a right click, then click on end task. Now if you find, scroll down, if you find any other, any services which is related to Epic, if you see any Epic services running, just make a right click and end the process and then open Epic Games Launcher once again. And that should fix the problem. But still you are facing the problem. In that case you can uninstall and reinstall Epic Games Launcher to your C drive. Sometimes uh, it is installed to another drive then you face this problem. So you can uh, simply uninstall Epic Games Launcher. You can make a right click then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall restart your computer. And then make sure that you re uh, re reinstall the Epic Games Launcher to your C drive. Now if nothing is working in that case you can reset your computer. Now before you reset, now, now before you perform reset, let me inform you that you may lose all, you may lose all the data and application on this computer. So before reset, 
make sure that you create a backup. So just create a backup and then go for reset. To perform a factory reset, go to the settings and then go to Windows Update or Update in Security in Windows 10 and then go to Advanced Option. In Windows 10, simply uh, when you go to Advanced Option, you will see Reset Option. So over here, click on Advanced Option and then go to Recovery and you, over here you will see Reset PC Option. Click on Reset and here you can see two options. One is Keep My Files, which will remove application and settings, but it will keep your personal files. Remove everything will remove all your personal files, application and settings. So select the option which you want. So I'll select keep my files and then go for local reinstall. So over here you can see local reinstall, click on it and then perform factory reset. And after this reset, you have to set up your computer once again and then you have to reinstall Epic Games Launcher. So you can go to Epic Games website and reinstall Epic Games Launcher and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.